Why am I rereading the book Traction? What's happening? It's Eric J. Olson. So I am currently rereading the book Traction. Now, I read this a couple of years ago, and then I gave it to Kevin Daisy, who's the co-founder of Array Digital, and he's also the co-host of this podcast, Journey to $100 Million. And he had it for a while, and then he read it about six months ago. And when he was rereading it, he would kind of comment to me and we'd kind of chit chat on Slack and talk about at our weekly one-on-ones about the things that he was learning. And it got me to think about this book again. Now, when I read the book the first time, I implemented some of the things that were in this book, but not all of the things. Now, let's talk about that a little bit. If you read a business book or if you listen to a business book, if you consume somehow some business material that is intended to help you get better. If you consume that and you don't do anything with it, if you don't apply your learning, then you're wasting your time. You might as well just be reading a romance novel, novel, uh, some sort of fiction. But if you're reading business, if you're reading a how-to book, you have to take the time and energy to apply your learnings. Again, if you don't, you are just absolutely wasting your time. So when I read Traction the first time, I did apply some of the things in that book. As an example, KPI dashboards. We did it exactly the way that the author says to do it. And it's worked out great. We've done it ever since. But I didn't apply everything in the book. So this time around, I will be applying probably not everything because there's a lot to it, but I'm going to be applying a lot more. So one of the things that are, that's in the book that I know of, but I need to read into more and I want to apply here is what's called a level 10 meeting. There's a very specific format for this kind of leadership meeting. And I think we kind of struggle with that a little bit here at Array Digital and at Rival Digital and for the whole organization. So that's one of the things I'm very interested in. Uh, there's a couple of other pieces of the book that I'm very interested in as well. So I'm going to be rereading it. I did crack it open today and uh, I'm starting in on it. I've already printed out the assessment. By the way, uh, there, there's an assessment that you take at the very beginning and you, you answer 20 questions on a scale of, I think it's one to five. And, uh, and then you, so you get between zero and a hundred points and we ranked, I ranked us at a 53. Uh, not bad, uh, but there's certainly some um, short falls that I would need to fill in some, some problem areas in the organization. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on. I think we do really well when it comes to people and when it comes to vision, but I think we fall greatly short when it comes to process. As an example, unfortunately, a lot of our process is not written down. It's all tribal knowledge, which is a problem. So I'm going to be focusing on that. So I'm going to be rereading it. You'll probably hear me talking in the next couple of weeks or months on this podcast and on social media about the things that I'm learning and the things that we're applying, the things that we're trying. So stay tuned. If you haven't read the book, again, it's called Traction. It's by Gino Wickman. Fantastic read. It will help you improve your business. Hey there, it's Eric J. Olson. I wanted to let you know about my book, Million Dollar Journey, how to launch a seven-figure business. This is the story of what it took for me to go from freelancer with no clients, no employees, no revenue, to growing a million dollar business. It took me eight years and I made a lot of mistakes. And all of those mistakes and more importantly, lessons learned are in this book. And we have chapter takeaways, five to 15 takeaways that you could apply right now to your business. Check it out on Amazon, Million Dollar Journey by me, Eric J. Olson.